Welcome back trainers and we're going to be doing the power of chandelure this time focusing on the fire typing because we did go into that ghost type for that last the power of chandelure video. So I've been waiting all day to go up against Kabalion using these chandelures and that's why it took me so long to finally get this up. I will have a timestamp if you did come here just to see that Kabalion duo so go ahead and check that out. Anyways taking a look at chandelure it's going to be a ghost and fire type. This is a fantastic Pokemon because it is going to be interchangeable between the Ghost and the Fire. And whatever one you do pick, it is going to be performing fantastic from whatever aspect. Taking a look at the CP, it's going to be maxing out at 3,268 attack, 271 defense, 182 and stamina, 155. Week 2, Dark, Ghost, Ground, Rock, and Water. And resisting a whole bunch of stuff, bug, fighting, normal, fairy, fire, grass, ice, poison, and steel. Quick moves are going to be hex and fire spin. The charge moves are going to be overheat, shadow ball, and energy ball. So seeing that it is going to be somewhat difficult currently to get the Unova Stone, this is going to be a pretty de decent Pokemon to actually purchase a secondary move if you have a good IV1 and you feel comfortable going ahead and investing that much into it. 75,000 Stardust and then 75 Candies. Simply TM the quick move to interchange it between the fire or the ghost typing. Very useful there. And if you're into the Master League, Chandelure may find some usability for you as well with Shadow Ball and then Energy Ball to cover those weaknesses. As you can see, Energy Ball will be super effective to the ground, the rock, and the water. So you will have a decent amount of coverage going in there. So this is a fantastic Pokemon, folks. I know I was a little bit harsh on it the first time around. I just said, just go with your Gengar's legacy as well as Giratina, but you know, that's not necessarily the case. So going ahead and taking a look at the current fire type Pokemon that will be sitting at the top, you have Reshiram, of course, which is not here yet, but when it does get released, man oh man, it is going to be an absolute beast with Fire Fang and Overheat sitting at 17.9 DPS and a TDO of 620. Then Germanitan, when that does enter, is also going to be fantastic. Fire Fang and Overheat sitting at 17.5 DPS and a TDO of 390, dropping quite significantly from the Reshiram. And then you have Blaziken with Fire Spin and Blast Burn, 17.2 with a TDO of 382. And then Chandelure finally with Fire Spin and Overheat sitting at 17.1 with a TDO of 398. Now, if you're wondering why is it recommending Chandelure over Blaziken to go up against Cavalion? Well, that's because it is going to be able to resist the metal, well, the steel type moves, as well as the fighting types, therefore lasting a whole lot longer and able to get off your charge moves and take it out with more damage. And then just very briefly, you're taking a look at the top ghost type attackers. Of course, you have Gengar with Lick and Shadow Ball, and then you have Gengar with Shadow Claw and Shadow Ball, and then Chandelure with Hex and Shadow Ball. So... Obviously, it's going to be difficult for you to get your hands on one of these Legacy Gengars. If you do have a full team, then you're looking very nice. Really enjoy those Legacy Gengars. Shadow Claw is personally preferred over the Lick one, but Chandelure is still going to be fantastic, as you can see here. Now, taking a look at Kabalion Raids itself, the Steel and Fighting type Legendary Beast, or whatever it is, the Swords of Justice, all right? We have Chandelure first, then Moltres, Machamp. Blaziken, Entei, and then Breloom. So I did use two Chandelures going up against Kabalion, as well as two Moltres, as well as an Entei, and then a, I do believe, Blaziken or Flareon at the end. I wasn't using that last Pokemon. Once I got down to number five, I simply backed out. We'll take a look at that towards the end. Uh, so Fire Spin and Overheat on Chandelure. That has a time to win of 767 seconds. And then Moltres with the same moveset. Time to win 801. So quite a significant jump from Chandelure to Moltres. Chandelure is just doing fantastic. It performs so well. Able to take those steel type moves as well as the fighting type. And then you have Machamp, which will be doing fantastic up, up against Kabalion. Um, but, you know, you need those cloudy weathers if you're trying to do the duo. We did try it. I will be going into an in-depth video tomorrow all about our attempts. Um, aside from the one that you're going to see the successful attempt that we did have at the end here. Now going up against the Skarmory, uh, also I was able to do this with two Chandelures. Of course it did have a double steel type move on the Skarmory, otherwise it's not really going to be possible because it's just going to be doing too much damage and Skarmory is a bit of a tank. Time to win for the Chandelure is going to be 169 seconds and then the Moltres is going to be 174. 
followed up by the electric types there. First, you have Electivire with 175, and then Raikou with 177. So Chandelure is going to be outperforming all of them. Absolutely fantastic Pokemon for sure, and such a good investment. Now, Gensect, very interesting, right? So this is going to be a Bug and Steel type. This is not in Pokemon Go yet, but I'm covering this because certain bits of files were recovered in the game data regarding the different items that it can hold and giving it different movesets. So we just might see this very soon in the future. Number one counter is going to be Chandelure. Yes, with Fire Spin and Overheat because it is going to be a Bug and Steel type way weak to fire moves. Time to win for the Chandelure. 424 seconds. And then the Moltres is at 450. So yet again, quite a big difference. It's going to take 12 Chandelures and then 13 Moltres. So less Chandelures and still a better time. Then followed up by Blaziken with Fire Spin and Blast Burn with 16 of those and a time to win of 444 seconds. So it's going to be a little bit you know, better than Moltres, but it is going to take more of those to actually complete that. So my final thoughts on Chandelure this time around. It's a fantastic Pokemon to invest at least one in. I know it's going to be difficult, obviously, to get your hands on a Unova Stone, and it is basically going to be the best Pokemon to use the stone on, period. Even when the other Pokemon do get released that it are going to actually take that Unova Stone, they're still really not going to be worthy compared to this. Maybe a few for PvP, but going up against Gyms and Raids PvE, it's not necessarily going to be something you have to save that Unova Stone for, and Lamp it is what you want to evolve into Chandelure. Anyways, with that said, trainers, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Enjoy these raids as we use the chandeliers to see how they do perform. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.